What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Kuroko no Basket. Today we're doing episodes 45 and 46. The first one was called Of Course It's Not Easy. I don't know what that could be about. I'm assuming it's going to be about our next, I, I, I want to call it a mini test, our, our next team we're going against before we go on to one of the GOM teams because, you know, there's a, a whole different ball game. But I'm excited. We got mini training. We got Alex. We got all that jazz. We got Kuroko shooting super with Almine. Super excited. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in those comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out that Patreon for early access and full uncut versions up to one week or four episodes ahead. Everything you guys need is in the description down below. Let's hop right on into this. Kuroko no Basket, episode 45. Of course, it's not easy. Got the boy himself, Kiyoshi, and Ima Yoshi. They can't not think of the game, you know. Heck no. Wow, we are down nine points right now. Some days you just have a bad day, you know? Bad day of ball. <laughs> yeah. So now they're what, probably 60, 70. But after a big victory, you do get somewhat complacent, content, you know? 100%. I was not expecting us to already be like deep into the game, though. And I love Ima Yoshi narrating it, though. I can't lie. I remember Kuroko and Kagami were sitting out of this one, you know, in general. We got Mitobe and the other goat in there. Okay, Junpei. This is why you're the this is why you're the captain, my man. Hell yeah, you do. Nah, you guys are sitting out. I love when Junpei does this all the time. To Kagami, to uh, Kiyoshi. He's like, bro, let me play. Stop worrying about us. Come on, we're we're your seniors. That's funny. She was just like, I was just in the mood. You know, we're just hitting everyone. All right, come on. Great pass over to the Iron Heart. Great Leia. Probably a great shot. Another great shot. Now we're up. We were down nine. Now we're up, what, six? Is that what I saw? My, my, my. Is she beautiful, I must say. We won. Good. Second game against Nakamiya. Toho and then Nakamiya. Yeah, everyone else won. We don't get to see Akashi's team yet. I love it. That boy Kagami. The pass. Great job. And we beat Morizono North. Quarterfinals, the pacing. Kenny Yosin's third match. Or, no. No, 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 don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't say they didn't score a single point. I would have given up. No, nah, I can't say I would have, but are you serious? Are you serious? 81 to zero? Yeah, Alex. Oh, run into Yosin, please. Talk to my boy Himuro. Come on. What, is she gonna kiss him? She always be kissing everyone, you know? <laughs> yeah. We're not like in Europe. I know, in, I know in Europe, they'd be kissing everybody. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Don't just end his life like that. Don't just end it. <laughs> Yeah, how do you do that as a teacher with both your students go against each other? How do you how do you vote? How do you root for them? You know. Damn. I'm more on Alex's side. Can't we all be happy and love each other? Okay, student beats the teacher. Chill out. What are we, the Sith? They're all shocked that it was 81 to 0. 
That was a basketball game, right? Not a simulation. Yeah, but in the Winter Cup with only the best teams. I didn't even realize it was two games in a row. Two games in a row of not giving up. That's ridiculous. That's literally. Their defense is impregnable. Okay, Okamura. This will be quite crazy to say the least. The an unstoppable force and an immovable object. That's that's generally the argument, you know. Who wins? Who comes on top? Wow! We made seven out of ten? You would have made zero out of ten ten episodes ago. That's a oh my girl. Which would be what? That's a great question, especially coming from the chess man, Akashi, you know. That's a great observation. I need more answer. God damn. Arigato. You know if Amine says that, it's the real deal. He's never going to say that out loud, obviously, but I love that. What he say? Never show what he says. Damn it, Momoi looks so cute. What did he say? Like win or make it or show me you're the best or something? Like your ball can win? I need to know. He's like, holy shit, these guys are all seven and a half feet tall. The shield of Aegis. Is that how you pronounce that? Aegis or Aegis? That's like some Greek Roman shield, right? That sounds crazy. Some 300 shit. This game is so big, not only for Kagami versus Himuro, but also Kuroko and Kagami versus Murasaki Bara. Like, it's ginormous. All right. It's unique to find a girl coach, you know, especially outside of Rico. So I really and she's wearing she's very dapper. Reminds me of Saber from Fate. So shouts out Coach Araki, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know. Look at purely the size difference. That's a good way to visualize it. I can't lie. Not just a huge tree, but with the deep roots, you know that bitch is not going anywhere. Murasaki Bara has a special vengeance against Kiyoshi. I completely forgot about that. Because he hates people who persevere, who can't be crushed. The Faded Brothers, the Destined Rivals. You better not lose. Oh, I got goosebumps. I got goosebumps right now. My boy, Aomine. You, no one's getting that ball besides Murasaki Bara. <laughs> what? You know how tall that man is? Oh. So they, you can only touch it once it reaches its peak. Is that? A, I, I, don't, I don't know tip off rules in basketball. I've never been in an actual match myself, besides like a Parks and Rec kind of game, you know. His wingspan. There's, a, I mean, you, we've all seen those famous posters of fucking LeBron, Michael Jordan, Kobe, all with those fucking wingspans. It's ridiculous. You think about it, if I went to high school in Murasaki Bara, I would tell him every day. I'd be like, bro, start playing basketball. You're too damn tall. Or volleyball. Even with a barrier jump back shot, this man is 7,500 feet tall. Oh, yeah. He's like, okay, easy sideways, but nope. And then he redirects it. So it's like a, a midway sideways pass. If you think about it, ding, 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 ding. He's just the middleman. <laughs> He's got such a long stride. He goes over the entire court sideways in about four steps. Fucking bullshit. Murasaki Bar is too damn tall. 
The whole court. Everything. Oh my god. If you immediately pass it over there in a second, he'll two steps is all he need. Boom. Boom. Bow. I get stupid. Alright. On to the next episode. Episode 46. This one is called First Basket. Yeah, you can tell whoever start, scores this first basket, the momentum is going to be on their side. Look how big they are. Never mind. There was the first basket. Oh. Anytime you see him take an aggressive step forward like that, you know Kuroko's about to do an amazing pass. Oh. And Izuki's able to catch that beautifully. That's so not fair. Look at him. That's a good play. That's a good strategy. I'm butthurt. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> That's a good... <laughs> Tipped it, even though he was like six feet in front of him. I mean, think about it. If half of our shots are almost but guaranteed to go to them on a rebound, that is horrible. Like, we got to do something. We need to. Okay, 18-0. So the first basket title has to be our first basket. How do we beat these guys? They haven't given up a point in the last two matches. Yeah, if we're down 18 points, that's one thing. But if you get down by 20 points, your morale has a, hit a rock bottom. Great jump, Kagami. I knew he would tip it. We can't let them get one more bucket without us getting one. Okay, you know it's going to be a good sign when it goes mid-flashback from Kiyoshi's perspective. Oh, I bet. Especially something as uniform as a basketball would be, like, easy after doing a rock, you know? Damn, that's, that's kind of a bar. It's not just about grabbing. You want to grab your goals, your dreams, your aspirations. You got to be able to reach out. <laughs> that's why Kiyoshi's the GOAT, man. The one-handed gripper, Vice Claw. <laughs> Look at him. Normally, you have the one just to secure it to the two, you know? But he was able to fully suck it. <laughs> this man's a claw of death. That was literally all that just for grabbing one rebound. We're still down 18 points, but I still have faith in my guys. We do need to retake control of the inside, but if only we had like a Midorima who could shoot from like over half court the entire game. Look how intimidating this zone defense is now. They can literally expand everyone else to the outside because they know Murasaki Bar can handle the entire inside by himself. That's ridiculous. Yeah, if they close this out right now, they don't even need to work the rest of the game. Oh, we're fighting in the paint? What is Kiyoshi going to be able to do? Oh, okay, the, the quick fake out. Hit like an Aomine play. Hit like an under layup or something. Oh, he did! Exactly what I thought! Ah, it's an under alley-oop. Even before motherfucking Okamura could come, he was able to quickly do a 180 and jump again. Okay, the redirect to the pass to Kuroko with the open shot because no one's on him. Please, please, Kuroko, please. Oh, that's what he said. That's what he said. Let me do it. Come on. It is a very interesting form, to say the least. And he finally realizes he is going to do it. You went full-fledged block. What? 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 Kuroko made the first basket, the first points for our team in this game. Are you serious? And if there's anything that could get in Murasaki Bara's head, it's Kuroko doing that. Him getting scored on in the paint by Kuroko. Right? Is, is, is this his first basket he's made this whole tournament? Look at that face. Look at that face. Oh, uh, uh, please don't. We still have like 10 more minutes left. Thank the Lord. I was about to say. 
You can't ask him how he shoots. He could shoot it with three fingers sideways from his foot and he would make it. It's how many. Yeah, when you shoot, it's like rolling from the palm to the mid, the top tip of your fingertips, you know? That's the. But he's telling him, try it like you're passing it. Because, yeah, when he passed it, it's pure. You know? Kuroko is the first person to score against him in this tournament. Okamura can, like, damn near take the entire under the hoop by himself. This is how really big tall players play in basketball. I've gone against my fair share when I was, oh, when I was, it literally just boxed me out. Easy layups every time. I'm like, you damn big boy. If anyone, if any of them ever said that to me, though, we're square and I'm just joking. There goes that vanishing drive. He's like, oh shit. He actually, they weren't lying when they said he vanishes. Yeah, it's going to be a pass. You know that man, Kuroko, is not doing the same thing twice. Great, Junpei. We needed that three. We needed that. Kagami, I won't lie. He's our ace. He's our main boy. Like, he's the reason we win our games. And if they're shutting him down, I don't know what we can do. Okay. Oh, oh, under the legs to the Kuroko over to Izuki? Talk about a pass. Yep, that's what I was about to say. If you lower your center of gravity, you're much more of a stable position. You're being pushed a lot less. And then with that, he just gets a firm jump up, not being swayed in any direction. It's way easier. The vice gripper. A great pass over to Junpei. Look at how he's just standing there, though. Like, come on, motherfucker. The bait up, the pump. How does he do that? I love the way they animate it. Roko scored again on Murasaki Barra. Coach Araki is like, what? Well, what are we down by? It's definitely not nobody's 18 points, right? Well, like 13, 14? 12. We haven't even seen Himuro, Himuro really go at it yet. Yeah, I agree. They'll probably bench him for a little bit. That's who I'm really worried about. Alex was hyping him up. Yeah, so Murasaki Bara needs to be taken by Kiyoshi, and Himuro needs to be taken by Kagami. Way to be a good teammate. Hype up your boys, Kuroko. I got faith in them just like you do. Hell yeah. <laughs> Don't call her gr Granny. <laughs> she could feel that she said that. That's so funny. When he has that face on tunnel vision, we're ready to, we're ready, we're zoned in. Alex said he's as good as the GOM, which is a big thing to say. Don't hold back. This is where it's ending. I was hoping we can get a little, a uh, little sneak peek, a little taste, but nope, this is where it's ending. Okay, so we're starting the game against Yosin. We're already halfway through it. The pacing is immaculate. Murasaki Bara is as dangerous and as crazy as I assumed. He is so good at defense, so tall, can jump so high. He's so lengthy. I'm excited very much to see Himuro next episode and the next couple episodes. 
um kuroko's vanishing like shot is insane i love how almine says kuroko is the one that did all the work i just gave him the tools he needed to be able to do the work and both of them are just amazing almine is looking all drippy dapper i love momoi with them as well and teaching his boy he said don't lose i love his face. uh gave me huge killua vibes when almine was like i should be the one thanking you you know like it's uh it, it, it's a lot changing someone's perspective and mindset you know like Almine was stuck in a corner for a long time and Kuroko pulled him out and he's very appreciative of that even ugh, I love it so much I love their relationship I cannot wait to see Almine's face when we do win this we need to win this I'm very very excited we got my boy uh Kiyoshi versus Murasaki Bara and then Kagami versus Tatsuya this is gonna be quite the match I am super ready for it Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Make sure you guys subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Make sure y'all check out that Patreon if you guys want early access, full length, all that jazz. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.